Hey, thanks for sticking around Upper Michigan today with us today. It's our final segment left talking about mental health with Peter and Melissa of Sunta Integrative Health. So while you do have a, a physical offices mm -hmm. in Marquette, Escanaba, and Ishpeming, you really are expanded. You can reach anybody throughout the UP. Absolutely. Um, and that's really kind of what we've been trying to do since the onset of the pandemic is like, how do we reach out to our more rural underserved areas? And so if you can't visit one of our brick and mortar offices, in Escanaba, Marquette, or Ishpeming, we do teletherapy, uh, where if you have a reliable internet connection, we can meet with a therapist just uh, through that means. What's the yeah. best way for somebody to get involved and to make an appointment? Uh, the best way to get involved is probably to visit our website. Uh, all the information is there, uh, content information. There's also a form you can fill out, just kind of the bare minimum who you are and how we can reach you. And that's at suntowellness.com. Is there still a wait list even for, for telehealth appointments? Well, it depends on the services you're mm -hmm. trying to get. Um, as we spoke earlier, um, you know, someone who's looking for maybe uh, help with anxiety in their children versus someone who's dealing with some complex trauma, maybe from like their childhood or something like that. We're going to pair you best with a therapist that is going to use the modalities and interventions that best serve you. So it really depends. It can be as little as a couple of weeks. It could be uh, maybe a little bit longer. I want to ask before we go, if you're talking to a friend or a family member, you think they're going through a tough time, it could benefit from talking to an expert. Usually good to just suggest that. I mean, is that, uh, you know, just throw it out there to them? I mean, sometimes you're afraid you don't want to be the one like, oh, do you want to talk to an expert? You know, you think there's that stigma, right? Right, right. exactly, absolutely. I, I think sometimes if there's someone that you care about, letting them know, like I've noticed that you're maybe not talking as much or you seem sad, and then that opening the door to giving them a chance to talk about what they're experiencing and then kind of moving in the direction of how can we, how can we get the support that you need? Yeah, so listen yeah. to your loved ones, listen to yourself, and check in. I wanted to say thank you for uh, joining us oh, today. That's all we have. Us. All right. Thank you. <laughs>